Mystery over Titan sub as experts suggest it was dragged to site for mothership. Engineering experts have questioned whether the fact the Ocean Gate Titan was dragged across waters rather than be transported on deck may have led to the disaster last month. The Ocean Gate Titan sub could have imploded after being dragged out to the Titanic site by its mothership, experts have revealed. The company's chief executive Stockton Rush and four of his passengers, including British adventurer Hamish Harding, 58, were killed at sea in the tragedy last month. Ocean Gate was meant to pave the way for a new industry-leading standard, but several designs aimed at cutting costs to try and make the adventure more profitable may have led to the disaster, engineering experts have claimed. In comparison to the US government's Alvin sub, which has completed around 4,500 deep-sea dives in the past 50 years, it was found that Alvin was normally transported to the dive site on deck of the mothership. While in comparison, the Titan was towed across the waters of the North Atlantic on its small dive platform, which could have resulted in some unknown damage. The Titan, a cylinder-shaped cabin made of carbon fiber, began taking people to the Titanic in 2021, at up to $250,000 per passenger per trip. Hamish Harding, 58, Pakistani tycoon Shahzada Dawood, 48, and his son Suleiman Dawood, 19, French Titanic expert Paul Henry Nargiolet, 77 were the four passengers who died after the vessel lost communications to land on June 18. Days later, after a frantic search and worldwide media attention, debris from the sub was discovered on the ocean floor and it was believed it had crushed under pressure from the sea. The leading theory is that the submarine was damaged after it was transported across strong waters. In contrast to the Alvin, Titan had no dedicated mothership, and to cut costs it was towed out to sea on the fatal dive by a smaller chartered vessel, the Polar Prince, which is a decommissioned Canadian Coast Guard icebreaker. When asked if towing the Titan risked damage, a company spokesman said, Ocean Gate is unable to provide any additional information at this time. The company's website has since gone down and the message that appears reads, Ocean Gate Expeditions has suspended all exploration and commercial operations. Travel Weekly editor Arnie Weissman went on the Ocean Gate voyage in May, using the same Polar Prince mothership that towed the sub about 435 miles from St. John's, Newfoundland, to the Titanic site. He wrote in a column, I thought the sub and platform were being tossed around pretty roughly. At the end of the rope that linked the stern of the ship to the platform, we saw that the front of the platform and the sub were underwater. Weissman recalled that, when asked about whether the incident jeopardized the sub, Rush joked, so a sub is underwater. Why is that a problem? One other theory questioned the submarine's pill-shaped design, with a sphere commonly being thought of as the best approach. At the depths of the ocean deep, a sphere is the optimal shape to resist crushing pressures that can reach 3 tons per inch too. Rush would have only been able to take two customers per trip with a similar design, assuming an ocean gate pilot went along. Instead, his Titan design was more spacious and could accommodate five people, but it may have led to their deaths. Rush's decision to use carbon fire was also questioned by many due to the fact it made it almost half as heavy as the Alvin, with the material making the sub's weight 21,000 compared to Alvin's 45,000 pounds. Jasper Graham Jones, an associate professor of mechanical and marine engineering at the University of Plymouth, said, Yes, composites are extremely tough. Yes, composites are extremely long-lasting. But we do have issues with composites and the fact that composites fail in slightly different ways than other materials. Furthermore, the Titan's 5-inch thick hull had been subjected to repeated stress over the course of about two dozen previous dives. It has also been speculated the Titan's use of different materials may have caused some problems due to them all changing shape at different rates of pressure and it becoming hard to maintain a seal between them. Retired Navy submariner Alfred S. McLaren claimed having different coefficients of expansion and compression can work against keeping a watertight bond. Experts have also questioned Ocean Gate's refusal to seek outside testing and certification for the Titan.